Hello, everybody. Hey, let's do some new entries on our Rhode Island slides. Your first slide should have had your title slide, which includes the name Rhode Island, the nickname, the estate Rhode Island became a state, and who founded the state of Rhode Island. If you did that, your slide might look something like Blake's. If you look on Blake's slide, you'll notice that he's got the title, Rhode Island. A nickname, the Ocean State, which is not the only nickname for Rhode Island. The date that it was established, the date that it became a state. If you did a simple Google search, you came up with the wrong answer. The correct answer is May 29th, 1790. Rhode Island was the last of the 13 colonies to officially become a state. Why did they wait so long to become a state? Because they wanted to ensure that they had religious freedom before they joined the United States. Roger Williams, who founded Rhode Island, religious freedom, that was his big thing. That's what he was all about. Religious freedom was founded in your home state of Rhode Island. Your second slide should have had some Rhode Island info, like the size of the state, how many square miles, what's the state capital? population, then a famous place, and two interesting facts. If you did this, yours might look something like Colby McCarthy's. <laughs> Colby crammed all kinds of stuff on this one. Look at that. There's pictures of the Cliff Walk, because that's her famous place, the Cliff Walk in Newport, Rhode Island. And not only did she tell us that the Cliff Walk was the famous place, but she told us information about the Cliff Walk, the Newport Cliff Walk is a 3.5 mile public access walkway that borders the shoreline. And did you know it's been designated a national recreation trail? I didn't know that. Thank you, Colby. Rhode Island is the second most densely populated state after New Jersey. I added that because Colby only had one fact and you're supposed to have two, see, two interesting facts. Colby's other interesting fact was that Rhode Island is the smallest state in the United States. It actually is really small. Did you know that you could fit several hundred Rhode Islands in the state of Alaska and in the state of Texas. It's that small. The state size is 1,212 square miles. The capital is Providence. There is one million people in the state of Rhode Island. That's a lot of people. Rhode Island information. Those should be something like your first two slides. You're gonna work on your third and fourth slide today. Here they come. The third slide is gonna have official Rhode Island state symbols. What is the state flower? Put this in a complete sentence and include an image of it. What is the state bird? Put this in a complete sentence and add an image. What is the state flag? For the state flag here on this one, you're really just gonna need to include an image of it, but you're also going to need to do the state motto. What is the state motto? It's actually only one word. Pay attention to that state flag because on your next slide, your next slide is not just a regular slide. Your next slide is also a paragraph writing assignment. Oh yeah, slow and throwing some writing into geometry. That's not right. Oh yeah, throwing some writing into geography. No, what are we doing here? Oh yeah, throwing some writing under our Google slides. You're gonna make a slide with the state flag. I know you already included the state flag on the last one. You're gonna do it on this one as well. And then you're gonna write a paragraph. A complete paragraph with complete sentences. That's three to five sentences, folks. Let's do better than three. You guys are coming into the end of third grade. You're kind of like fourth graders. I expect a bit more than you in that one. Here's the question you're going to answer. Why were the images on the Rhode Island flag used and what do they mean? Go. Find a picture of the Rhode Island flag. Check out those websites that are linked. And you tell me. Why were the images that are on the Rhode Island flag used and what do they mean? To do this, you have three websites that you've already been given and a brand new one. Here are the three you've already been given. One of them is called kidsnationalgeographic.com. This is going to give you all kinds of fun information about Rhode Island. You'll find a lot of stuff here. The next one is history.com. You'll find a lot of information on this one about Rhode Island. Cool kid facts. Rhode Island facts. And then here's the new one. The new one is state symbols. Hey, this one's all about the flag. Hey, you know what? You have a, a slight writing assignment that you've got to do. So I might check this portion out because I gave you this website specifically to tackle that short paragraph about the state flag.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are ready to go. We have the Rhode Island slides that you have just been assigned. We're going to go ahead and say that these are due on Thursday. Have a great day, everybody. Yeah. <laughs>